Viewers and subscribers, today I want to talk about Tommy Lee Sparta and Queen Africa addressing Ragin King after his incident. Bounty Killer donates $50,000. Dexter Dapps bash after his latest music video. And D Angel gets X-rated on Instagram. So people, the first thing I want to talk about is Ragin King basically getting a message from Queen Africa and also Tommy Lee Sparta. You see me? Tommy Lee Sparta finally react to the whole situation what happened to Ragin King. Remember, say, I'm Moby, Tommy Lee Sparta come from and we see Ragin King always a show him respect as one of the bigger Montego Bay artists them or maybe even the biggest artists we come from out of Montego Bay, you see me? But before me show no what Tommy Lee Sparta and Queen Africa say there's another update come out about Ragin King and he has been transferred to another hospital, you see me people? And to be honest, me don't know why them transfer him, me don't know if I feel safety because you know, don't see the video them want float around on the internet, you see me? Kind of give the location of the hospital and you don't know so the man them did move off a ragging king wicked and when I say wicked if you did read the article what the Jamaica Gleaner did put out when you say the man them all run him down in the gully come here say him run off in the gully and then the man them run him down and beat it upon him you see me so and I like say something will just happen out of the blue this was definitely a targeted move people so you don't know say the mafia watch out for him best interest and stuff like that and we even see management come out and I thank everybody for them praying and I tell them say they must continue pray for him, you see me? Pray for a speedy recovery. So I just continue go and pray for him. And me even see a photo come out with him, which me now go put up still because it don't look right for post a photo like that. Man in the hospital and boy I tell the people put up everything on the internet still in you know, but me now go show it still, you see me? If you don't want to find it or see it, you can go Google it or you can go up on some other page and you know, we'll probably see it. But yeah, man, people, back to where Tommy Lee Sparta and Queen Africa say now. I'm going to show you what Queen Africa say first. At Rigging King, live youth, life is a gift. Oh, I wish the youth them could get the big picture that life is better than death. We all die one day, one day, but there's no need to hurry it along like this. My heart is so broken at the state of my country. It hurts so bad. There is no one for the people of Jamaica. No one. I know that Jamaica people was not like this. But God will send help. And I am not speaking of the white God. Hashtag Jamaica we have to get rid of the house slaves now. They are our problem. Walipa angry faces. So Queen Africa make the Jamaican people know. Say we not stay so. We not supposed to go around and take people life. And you understand me? I say which me definitely love the message what she put out in this um, at the end of the day still Queen Africa always has speak up for righteousness so this is not something that really surprised me you understand me say people alright so now Tommy Lee Sparta put up a video with Ragin King and remember when Ragin King put out a video where I listened to Tommy Lee Sparta blessing I see him video Tommy Lee Sparta post back on him Instagram and him say violence is not the solution unity will make our land a better place speedy recovery bro at Ragin King, blessings go out to you and your family. You see my people, so you know so Tommy Lee Sparta have him respect for Ragin King and Ragin King have the respect for Tommy Lee Sparta. So it's a good look for see the Montego be an artist and look out for them one another. And as I say, people, we just wish Ragin King a speedy recovery or up and come back a road. But you don't know, say you have to go watch yourself because not just no shadow after dark. Not trust nobody at all, is it me? But as I say, people, leave in the comments and make me know where you think about this. So remember the other day, D Angel did launch her OnlyFans page, and a lot of persons did a bash her. I said she broke and she nana no money and she this and she that. D Angel did an interview with the star and she addressed the whole situation. Now, D Angel put out a video basically a promoter um, OnlyFans. And I am telling her people, I forgot to blur out some of the video because. Even though she done blur it already, but me I put an extra blur over it because me I tell the people the angel coming like she turn up the thing over her only fans page is it and you don't know so she have some captions where she put out. Me I go show you that as well. But me I go play the little video and only can tell me where anything about it, you see me? So check this out. Wanna see? I've been a very bad girl. Do you want this?
yeah man so when you see where the angel are going with she deal with some really seductive things and you don't know so she in a straight jaws and she go on with a bag of something upon her page obviously you know say some people are going to bash her because some woman feel like say the angel better than that some woman feel like say she desperate for attention but at the end of the day still me know say she not do certain things over there so if you not go for think like say she go do that Nobody makes sense to so not even go subscribe to our OnlyFans, is it? I just some little teaser things, but at the same time, we never really see them side of the angel here. But anyway, the angel go on for say, there's a lot of sexiness happening over my OnlyFans page. Wanna see more? Go subscribe now. And she also go on for say, soft and delicate, but just as flexible. Want to see how capable I am at turning you on? Sign up and find out. <laughs> Yo, people, the angel with the chat, them, me are telling her, sound just like one of them triple X star, they wanna know me at all, but anyway, so after the angel put up that, Leela, I comment and say, laugh my ass off, honest to God, me love Jamaica and Jamaicans, and the angel respond and say, it's a vibe and a mood, right, true, laughing emoji. So the next person say, me never think I would see this in a million years. Spice must be rolling, laughing emoji. And the next person say, no, the angel, you're mad, mad, mad. No, no, you're bigger and better than this. No, I don't like you doing this, laughing emoji. So some persons kind of make fun of the situation. Um, at the end of the day, still not everybody going to agree with what she do, you see me? And where she go put out this video here when she in a lingerie and thing. But remember, say the angel was a model or is a model. So this ain't really not new. She modeling her dress and she modeling her clothes and she do her thing. And plus, I really like she do nothing too derogative. But you don't know, say only fans, she get a bashing from it the other day. So where she go put out this, you know, must understand where some people are going to leave under videos them and thing. But leave your comments under this video and make me know where you think about this. Dancehall artist Bunty Killer continue to give back and this time he may donate to a school named Clapham in a, um, St. Elizabeth. You see me, I think a Clapham Primary. Now Bunty Killer and his foundation donated $50,000 to them, you see me? And basically it's like them have a yearly fundraising event. And from the other day we see Bunty Killer give back to all the people, um, all the areas. He even go down a sea view gardens and him give back to the people, you see me? And you know, so with the whole sea view 19 who are going into the world, a lot of persons lose them job. So Bounty Killer posts up a picture with somebody who received the $50,000 um, from him foundation and him say, Marcia Price giving a small token of $50,000 to Felicia Christian on behalf of the Bounty Foundation to Clapham Primary in Brighton, St. Elizabeth towards their yearly fundraising event Every mickle make a muckle. You see me? And you know me, I wonder if that woman is related to Bounty, because she named Marcia Price and Bounty named Rodney Price. You see me? I just wonder, people, if you don't know, leave it in the comment section. But anyway, Bounty Killer Foundation, we have to big them up, people, and this is a real foundation. Not just some people where I use the word foundation and uh, give back. Just like how we see Shaggy, a theme foundation, and him give back to the hospital. Them, you understand me? I say, people, but we see even the other day, Bounty Killer give back um, a wheelchair to a girl named Deandra Thomas. She was 14 years old and the chair is valued at $160,000. You see it? So Bounty out here do good things. I big him up because you don't know say him name the poor people governor. But leave in the comments and make me know what you think about this. As long as Bounty Killer continue to do the good things, them, may go continue to talk about them. You see it? Until we see enough of the other artists them start doing things like this. But as I say, people, make me know where you think about this. So Dancehall Sing J, Dexter Daps is being bash. You see me? And Dexter Daps have must see a vent album come out. So I'm drop a new visual. You see me, people? But you don't know say Dexter Daps name always I get called in a controversy. Especially with the ladies then. But this time it's something different. Now, in a, this visual that Dexter Daps drop, the leading female in it is a white woman. You see me? And that kind of often a lot of um, the Jamaican people them. It often a lot of black people them. They and basically, I said Dexter Daps have the support of them, but yet still him I use a white woman in him video. You see me, people? If you don't watch the video, you can go check it out. It depends on Dexter Daps YouTube page. But for me personally, me just look on this as art, you know, you see me? Members say, I don't like saying married to her or nothing like that. At the end of the day, he probably shoot it for, for a reason. And then when you look on the title of the video, you can see say it's going to have an episode 2, episode 3, episode 4. 
So Dexter Dabs know what he's doing. I mean, I feel like the people should have bashed him because he might use a white woman in him video. So somebody left a comment on him page and say, your music only celebrated by mostly black queen. You make music for black people. We as black people buy your music. So where the F is the celebration of the black woman you be talking about in your music and at your shows, where is the black queen? And a female go on for say she got cancel Dexter Dabs. She no want have nothing for do with him and all of them things there. So a lot of the females them feel offended because Dexter Dabs are use a white woman. Now people may gonna ask on a phone opinion and I feel like say Dexter Dabs violate the Jamaican people them and I feel like say it's just a music video and he might play a certain role. Maybe he might try to get a certain message across, you understand? But leave in the comments and make me know where you think about this. Also, don't forget to go follow my Facebook page. I'm going to put the link in the comment section. So just click the link, go over there and give me a support.